on a yet so I see Ah, how are you doing? We are doing okay. Uh, this month of June, it has not been so easy for us. First was my auntie, second was our first, and then my brother-in-law passed away yesterday. But the Bible said that we must quickly carry out the task assigned us by the one who sent us. The night is coming and then no one can walk. No matter what we are passing through, no matter what we are going through, we must carry out the task of the one who sent us. Hallelujah. It's not that we are not grieved. We are not grieving, we are not mourning, we are mourning, but we must carry out the task of the one who sent, who, who sent us. The Bible says again in, in the book of Isaiah, I was reading yesterday the book of Isaiah. Understand that God is protecting them from the evil to come. For those who follow godly path will rest in peace when they die. Hallelujah. So the Bible is saying that those who love God, those who fear God, they die, they always die before their time. Because God is protecting them from the evil to come. God is protecting. I remember even in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, when Jesus, the disciple was asking the Jesus uh, to tell them the sign of his return and when he, he will come. And he was telling them those things which will happen and some are happening. Almost those things are happening right now. And at, I think on verse 22, it told them that the days will be shortened for the sake of the elect. So my question is, are you ready to meet with Jesus? Are you ready to meet with the Lord? Because the Bible says the righteous die before their time because God is protecting them for evil from the evil to come and he said the, the days our days will be shortened the days of the elect the chosen one will be shortened so are you ready to meet up with the Lord are you ready because the Bible says that those who, who who follow godly will rest in peace when they die. In the other version, let me see the NIV says that those who walk up uprightly enter into peace. They find rest as they lie in death. King 
tempts, he said that he shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their bed, each one walking in his uprightness. So it's those our loved ones have left us and want to be with the Lord. And the question is to us, are we ready if the Lord comes today, if Jesus comes tonight and say, I want to take you home, are you ready? Are you ready to go home and rest? Will you rest or you will go to hellfire? That's the question I was told to ask you this um, day. Are you ready to meet up with Jesus? Because as you know, Jesus is coming very soon. And he said the days will be shortened for the sake of the elect. So are you ready? Maybe you, will, you are one of them who whose days will be shortened. Maybe you will not be able to endure what the evil that is coming and Jesus wants to protect you and take you. But you must be ready. You need to prepare yourself today before that time. Hallelujah. So I just want to, to bring you to Jesus. If you are there and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you are going to repeat this prayer after me. Say, Father Lord, I come into your presence as a sinner. I confess all my sins. Please forgive me. I didn't know any better. I believe that Jesus Christ came and died for me on the cross of Calvary so that my sins can be wiped away. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. Be the Lord over my life. I promise to serve you forever and ever. Amen. You have just accepted Jesus Christ sin no more, be ready, read your Bible, pray every day, forgive, stop sinning, because Jesus can come anytime, any day. They say, the day that Jesus will come, nobody knows, even if Jesus himself doesn't know, only God knows, even the angels, they don't know. So he wanted us to be ready every time. He wants us to, to live like today is our last day on earth. Because if you know that today is your last day on earth, you will live. Imagine how you will live. You will live in peace with everybody. And you, you, don't, you will not want to sin at all. You want to live right because you know today is my last day. I must make peace. So live it every day, like today is your last day on earth. That will prepare you to be ready at any time. If Jesus comes at night, in the morning, you will be ready. Hallelujah. That's the word I had for you today. And let us worship our Father. Let us worship Him. In every time, in every situation, in every hour, He wants us to worship Him, to give Him the glory, to, him, to give Him the praise, because He deserves it. He's still good. He's a good Father. He remains God. Hallelujah.
Ninajua mahali ulipo ulikuwa tayari wa kujunganisha na sisi tunasema barikiweni pamoja na watu wote ambao watakao watch video hii wale wenye wako katika kilio kama sisi nao pia wajisikie wajipe moyo maana ninapojunganisha na Mungu nasikia kujipa moyo nasikia Mungu kuwa faraja yangu nasikia Mungu kunigusa na na, na ninapojihisi niko katika familia yangu ninapojihisi nikimsifu na kumshukuru na kumwabudu hii ndio inanipongeza hii ndio inani inaninua na jisikia tena ka, kama vile yaani nimekiwa nguvu na unaponiombea pia endelea kuniombea na wale wote wanajua ya kwamba tunapitia kipindi hiki mjipe pia moyo E, mjipe moyo Mungu awabariki wapendwa tuko pamoja Mungu atendelea kuwa tu pamoja na sisi Mungu awabariki Amen Nasema Mungu awabariki tuone tena kesho kwa mapenzi